Shalom. All praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakwadash. The bonus goes into our apostles, elders of Great Millstone, that have taught us the truth. Much love and peace and blessings goes out to all you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and truth and in sincerity. So, this is going to be a lesson. This is regarding the judgment of the Most High that's taking place right now due to this uh, so called hurricane, which is just which is just a severe storm. Severe storm brewed up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And what it's doing is, so far, it, hey, it's killed a lot of people. There's been a lot of damage. A lot of people are displaced out of their homes, and et cetera, et cetera. But why do these type of things happen? It's because the Most High is angry. Okay? The Most High is angry. And he's not satisfied with the deeds of the people of the earth. Because the people of the earth, one thing they don't understand is they don't understand that their creator, there is, first, they don't understand that there is a creator. And then secondly, the creator himself, you know, within that, you won't understand anything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the creator, is doing. You know, so, so due to that, the people of the earth are just walking in their own ways, doing what they want to do. And then we live in a times to where now the Most High is intervening. Now he's beginning to show you that he is. And he's doing this through this, and he's going to do it through many different ways, leading up to billions of deaths on the earth, billions of uh, cases of people dying, et cetera, et cetera, mass famines. You know? Hey, because of all the happenings in the earth, really, when you look at it, most people, they just attribute it to nature or misfortune. But what's to come in the future? You're gonna know by without reason of a doubt as you how by Shimia was shy. Okay. But then also when you look at it, which I'll I'm gonna focus part of it on this lesson is because of who's ruling the earth right now. It's Esau Edom, the ungodly. Scriptures call him the wicked, the ungodly. So therefore the people with which he rules over, they have that ungodly vibration as well. The Bose High, he he's not messing around. He don't mess with that. So let's read a little bit of this. So this is um, Ida, which is the hurt name of the hurricane, causes massive flooding, killing at least 40 in the Northeast. Which that's, I mean, that whole narrative of what happened with this hurricane is very fishy. You know, the spirit kind of telling me Esau might have something to do with this as far as, I mean, because you don't really hear of hurricanes hitting the Southwest, like Louisiana, and then skipping a whole plethora of states, and now it's affecting NYC. Doesn't make any sense, right? So, but I mean, all in all, just the death and these damages, that's that's the Lord's judgment. And also, when you look at it, this, is, this can be a very reason to bring in FEMA. FEMA and people being relocated into camps, even more measures, Esau can use, he can take advantage of to, to push his agenda. His agenda is the New World Order. It says states in the Northeast began recovery efforts Thursday after the remnants of Hurricane Ida unleashed record-breaking rainfalls, flash floods, and tornadoes in a powerful burst that blindsided some people in the region and killed at least 40 people. Hey, so, I mean, you didn't even hear of this level of death taking place in New Orleans. You see what I'm saying? But when it hit New York, it was just catastrophic. I thought when hurricanes hit, they're supposed to lessen in strength through time. It seems like this hurricane just gathers strength, which we know Esau has weather modification technology to where I was looking up some of the radiology behind it. You know, the images, they look like little bursts of different weather patterns that just happen out of any out of nowhere. So he, Esau could have did that. That's what it's looking like. It says the death toll doubled late Thursday afternoon when New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy resort reported the tally in his state. At least 23 people died there, the majority caught in vehicles by floodwaters. So those 23 people that died, hey, that's the Lord's judgment. More than likely they were wicked. And I pray, I hope it was you no know, brothers caught up in this. Brothers of great millstones, sincere brothers that believe in how about Shimon was shy. More, more than likely they didn't, you know, because the Most High, he's preserving us. So let, I want to go to this other article I had. Um, here. Uh, 
here. It says, it says from BuzzFeed knows the DVOC, we should know what DVOC is backwards, has worsened the impact of Hurricane Ida, creating a major disaster for Louisiana. It's a major crisis, said an intensive care doctor at a New Orleans hospital. It's about to worsen. So, hey, these disasters, these crises, they're happening for a reason because this is the calamity of Esau. Because the ruler of the earth right now is Esau, Edom. And due to him being wicked, the earth is filling judgment. Y'all want to get that. Think back to that word, those words used, though. Disaster and crisis, right? So this is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49 and verse 8. It says, flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dida. I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him. The time that I will visit him. So the Lord is telling you that what he's going to do, what he's going to ha have happen on the earth is calamities to take place upon Esau. Esau is you so-called white people, man. If you look up that word for calamity, it's the Hebrew word ayad, and it means oppression, implication, misfortune, ruin, destruction. It says disaster. Burden, calamity, day of calamity, a burden or a load, a destruction, a ruin, heavy misfortune. So can't you call it? Hey, it says major disaster. Major disaster equates to what? Heavy misfortune. OK. It says Hurricane Ida hit New Orleans with 150 miles per hour winds, which took the trees and knocked off, was shook the trees and knocked off a parking site outside Tulane Medical Center. Two people died from DVOC and his ICU ward, which th this shows you the level of programming Esau is, is talking about <laughs> with his old, uh, you know, that Novid 19 shit, right? What the hell does that have to do with the fucking hurricane hitting, man? You see, it's all programming. He's using every excuse under the book. To talk about his lab created sickness. You know what I mean? And this was only two people that died during this in the hospital. Big fucking whoop. And 20, and you could replace those two people with under the same circumstances would have died from the flu in 2015. It's fucking, it's, it's madness, man. So let's just, I just want to go to the scriptures because this, this just vexes. Vexes is the spirit. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and earthquake and with and a great noise and storm and tempest. This shows you Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He visits with, with storms. The focus is the storm because a hurricane is considered a storm and tempest. Those are strong winds and strong rains because they have the potential to damage uh, property and injured life cause abrasions and death. This is what the Most High does to individuals on this earth, starting with men that don't do right by him. Starting with the Israelites who don't keep his commandments, right? And the rest of the heathens who oppress his people, who are wicked as hell as well. It says, in the flame of devouring fire. Hey, so that's how the most high visits. He ain't, he ain't taking, he ain't uh <laughs> visiting you <laughs> with uh with uh <laughs> he ain't visiting you with cupcakes and cookies, man. It's not a nice visit. Like when you have a doctor's visit, a, a visit from this person to that person. Usually that's associated with good times, but hell no. When the most high visits, he's bringing uh, weather disasters, man. That's what the Lord does. Because he ain't playing. The Most High sits upon his throne. He's of majesty. So when he has to take action, you better believe it's, it's for judgment, okay? So if you go to the word for visit, it's the Hebrew word paquad. And it means to visit, by analogy, to oversee, to muster, to charge. If you go down to do judgment, um, to remember. Um, 
Let's go to the Chaldee Lexicon. To strike the Chaldee Lexicon is to strike upon or against any person or thing. In a good sense, to any to go to any person or thing. So when you think about a strike, it's a remember. A, 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 it's a uh, occasion to remember. And it's how the Most High is striking. He's striking with with hurricanes right now, man. So let's go to uh, Genesis six and five. This is actually the story of what happened during the time of Noah. We live in a situation right now that mirrors Noah because if you read the book of Matthew, twenty four chapter, the scriptures say the days of the Son of Man, the days of the return of the Son of Man, are going to be like the days of Noah. And what was happening in the days of Noah? Nothing but wickedness. This is Genesis six and five, and the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Hey, look, look at this shit. Lord Nas, pregnant. Look at this shit, man. You got this dude, Lil Nas X, dressing as a pregnant when he's supposed to be dressing, or I should say, uh, dressing like he's pregnant. Got a fake goddamn stomach poking out like a pregnant woman when he's clearly a man. That's confusion. That's gender confusion. Hey, but nonetheless, that's why the Lord said during the times of Noah, He's seen nothing but wickedness because this is how the most high looks at the actions of men. That's how he deter looks at you. and His judgment is is wickedness. Right. But when you look at the people of this earth, of this world, they think that what they're doing is just OK. The most extreme thing that you could do to most people on the earth, what they'll judge you by is, you know, talking down on women or stealing from somebody or killing. Other than that, it's just, you know. Laissez faire, let everybody do what they want to do. But the Most High sees everything much different. And all the confusion and the actions of the people of the earth, he views it as being morally, morally incorrect. It says, Genesis 6 and 5 again says, And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. You see? That's exactly the, the mind frame of majority of the earth. The only people on the earth that are exhibiting righteousness towards the most high are the elect Hebrew Israelites, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and our scattered brethren that may look like the other nations. Those are the only ones that don't have evil in their hearts continually. I mean, because, you know, man, in mankind, we're naturally subjected to evil just by reason of our flesh. But Yahweh Bashim Yahushua has called us to be different. So everyone in the world... They're out there and they're doing things that that justifies the Lord bringing Hurricane Ida upon the ass. So let's go to this last precept. I'm going to get Baruch 4 and 30 it says. Uh, it says. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. So who is that? That's the heathen nations. And right now, it's starting with America. Because Esau, when he was hanging our people from uh, light light poles and trees, they would have barbecues. They would rejoice at our people getting put to death. You know when there's news of misfortune about one of our people, you know these Edomites take pleasure in that, man. So it says, miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. And why are they miserable? Let's look at that word, miserable. Miserable meaning full of misery. It says wretchedly unhappy or uncomfortable. Why? Because the position the Lord is putting upon them. Earthquakes. I mean earthquake. Yeah, earthquakes. Storms. You think it's comfortable to sit through a damn earthquake? You think it's comfortable to sit through a, a hurricane? Category four, category three? No, sir, it's not. That's why the Lord called them miserable, because these judgments that are happening upon them. It says, miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. You see? The, the judgment of America is coming upon it now. 
It says, for I will take away the rejoicing of her multitude. And her pride shall be turned to mourning. And whose pride? Babylon. The, the country, the kingdom in which our people currently uh, have served. Most high about to do away with this shit, man. So, Lord's will, this was edifying. All praise goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Shalom.